Hi, I'm Daniel White, engineering lead for the new Google Play console. Our teams have been hard at work rebuilding the console from the ground up, and it's hugely rewarding to finally see it in the hands of our users and to hear your thoughts on what we have built. In this session, I'll be covering how the new Play console is easier to use, better at getting you the information you need, more insightful about your performance, and better suited to managing large teams. Play Console is the center of the Google Play developer community. Over time, it has grown to serve over 900,000 individuals each month, from hobbyists to large companies with hundreds of console users. That growth gave us an opportunity to not just expand Play Console, but to step back and redesign it for the problems faced by you, the modern Android developer. Let's dive in and explore the new console. The most striking change is how the new console looks and feels. We've given it a modern interface in the Google Material design language, which makes the experience much cleaner and more similar to other Google products. It also gives you more space on large screens, as well as more flexibility in how your data is displayed. When we tested this new design with hundreds of Play developers, they told us they liked it for its clarity, cleanliness, and the ease of finding the right information on the page and we hope you do too. Because Google Material is a design language that was designed to adapt to a variety of devices, the new Play Console will now work well, whether you load it on a phone or a 4K dashboard screen. And it's been designed to be accessible from the start because we want Play Console to be ready to use no matter your individual needs. Along with the new visual design, we also redesigned the menu structure. After years of new features, the menus were ready for a reorganization, one that not only streamlined the list, but also took into account the changing ways you use those features. The new menu structure groups pages more naturally by their function. The release area collects all our tools for uploading and distributing your apps, reviewing your testing and production tracks, and checking how your latest updates are performing. Design with release managers in mind. Grow contains everything you need to supercharge your user acquisitions. From pre-registration to store listing experiments, it also features acquisition reporting, which has been completely redeveloped. More on that in a minute. The quality section was designed for QAs and team leads. It contains all of the signals and features that tell you how your app is performing in the wild, including both its technical performance with Android Vitals and how people feel about it through ratings and reviews. Monetize brings together Play Console's setup, reporting, and optimization tools to help you grow your business through in-app purchases and subscriptions. And Policy helps you navigate how to release confidently on Google Play. I'll cover this in depth a little later in this webinar. We've also built new overviews and dashboards for many areas within the console, starting with the very first page you see, the app list. Now you can customize this page to highlight the apps that you care most about. You can pin your favorite apps from the list so that they always appear at the top of the page, then simply edit and drag and drop them into the right order for you. Once your apps are pinned, you will be able to see summary KPIs without having to load each app's individual dashboard. The new releases overview shows you an up-to-date snapshot of your testing and production tracks so you can quickly see which versions are being tested by how many users and in which countries. You will find other overviews throughout the console, such as acquisitions, vitals, financials, ratings, and reviews. Publishing your apps is one of the major areas where we really focused on making Play Console more usable and easy to understand. In fact, we've made so many improvements to the publishing experience that we've recorded a whole other session about them. Check it out for a deep dive on these changes, which include more guidance when you create a new app, and the ability to manage a large scale app with multiple release tracks. You can find a link to that session in the video description. We heard that it can be difficult to keep track of the messages that Google Play sends, and that many developers wanted help discovering all of the features available within Play Console. So we put a lot of thought into collating these messages in more convenient ways. Play Console has a new policy area in the menu containing the policy status and app content pages. In the app content section, you can provide the information that Google Play needs to classify and review your app, such as your privacy policy, information about ads if you have them, and instructions on how to access restricted features in your app. On the policy status page, you can see any outstanding issues with your app and get guidance on how to resolve them. 
The new console inbox shows key messages sent to you from Play. Here, you can find information and reminders about policy updates, new features we've released, and any issues we found in your apps or with your account. To make it easy to review, the inbox entry in your navigation shows you how many messages you have waiting, and for those of you who manage multiple apps, you can easily filter messages. We'll automatically hide messages that are no longer relevant to you, so you can focus on the most important information with each visit. But don't worry, your messages will always be available in the archive in case you want to review them. With all the new features we've added over the years, we know it can be hard to remember everything that Play Console has to offer. To help with this, we've given key pages new expandable sections with more information and links to educational pages. These new pages offer tips for how to integrate these features into your business and act as a hub for related information, including links to the Help Center, the Play Academy, and developer case studies. We've also created themed resource guides to help you see which Play Console features and best practices can help you achieve your business goals. You can visit these pages now at g.co slash play slash console. You don't need a Play Console account to access them, so you can share this with anyone on your team who might be interested in how Play Console can help you succeed. Across the top of every page is a new search box, which gives you a quick way to jump to any page within Play Console without having to remember where it lives in the menu or even exactly what it's called. Currently, the search results can link you to pages or help center content with new results added over time as we better understand how you use this new feature. The new console offers a consistent experience wherever you analyze and report your data. Charts, tables, filters, and selectors are now handled in the same way on every page. This might sound like a small change, but in practice, it makes it much easier to move between different pages and immediately understand the data being shown and how you can manipulate it. We've also made some substantial improvements to acquisition reporting. This data is only available through Play Console, and we know that interpreting it is critical to your success on the Play Store. So in addition to new dimensions like language, store listing, and reacquisition, the new acquisition reports also give you new ways to understand the relationships between your metrics and analyze the trends. For a lot more detail on the changes to acquisition reporting and statistics in the new Play Console, check out the Grow Your Audience session. Play Console also shows you a lot of data on the quality of your apps. In the new console, you'll see much better visualizations of your app ratings and the sentiment of your Play Store reviews. We have also overhauled the pre-launch report and released Android Performance Tuner and native crash symbolication. Android Performance Tuner is a new tool to help you measure your frame rate performance and graphical fidelity and to optimize between them. This will help you achieve stable frame rates at scale across the whole Android device ecosystem so you can deliver higher quality game experiences to more Android users with less effort. You can integrate the Unity plugin or do a custom integration to try it out. Another new feature, Native Crash Symbolication, lets you upload your symbols files and your crashes and ANRs to be symbolicated in both Android Vitals and pre-launch report. This lets you debug your game stability issues more easily. This feature is available now, so you can start uploading with your next release or even your current release. We've also improved Android Vitals. As well as reviewing all pages to make sure the concepts are clear and easier to understand, it's been refocused to center on the issues we think you might want to address first. Play Console has features to help everyone on your team, from QAs to marketing managers, engineers to PMs, but not everyone needs the same access to your account. Larger developers often told us that they wanted more powerful and better features in this area, so we've significantly revamped the team management features in the new Play Console. These new features can help you manage increasingly large teams, making it easy to understand which of your team members can see data or make changes across your account. The new Users and Permissions page has been redesigned in collaboration with some of our largest accounts. We heard that it wasn't always easy to understand the rights granted by certain permissions, so we use clearer names and descriptions across the board. The new Play Console also makes a clearer distinction between permissions that apply to the whole account and permissions that apply to a specific app within the account. You also now have the ability to search and filter your user list so you can see which users have each permission, whose access has expired, or who can see a particular app. 
These changes will make it much easier to safely manage access as your team grows so that the right people can access the right parts of Play Console. These new team management features are just the beginning. We hear your requests for more advanced enterprise functionality and are already working on future improvements. The Play Console beta is available now at play.google.com slash console, and I'm so excited for you to give it a try. Once you do, we would love it if you could share your thoughts via the in-product feedback tool. The feedback so far has already been so valuable to guide us as we further improve the new Play Console. Believe it or not, I've really only scratched the surface of the big changes we've made, so I encourage you to have a look for yourself and also watch the other sessions about the new console. Thank you for watching.